Hello everyone, this is RB Jules Barbie coming to you uh, from all things Barbie and pretty. Um, I'm ready to uh, share one of my other favorite dolls with you um, that's other than Barbie. I absolutely love Barbie, but I do have some other dolls that I love as well. So I'm going to be doing a three-part series on the Rainbow High dolls. And uh, excuse me for that interruption. Um, just a little uh, extra noise in the background, um, but it is indeed gone. Um, the first doll that I have before you tonight, I'm going to be talking about Sunny. Um, yeah, I got my notes with me. Her name is Sunny Madison. We're going to be talking about Ruby Anderson. These dolls are so pretty. And we're going to be talking about Sonny's best friend, uh, Violet Willow. These are very pretty. So we're going to talk about the dolls and we're going to talk about the Rainbow High series. I don't know how many of you all have seen the Rainbow High series and there's a movie which I need to watch so, but I'm not going to talk about the movie right now, but I'm going to talk about Rainbow High, the series. I have seen um, seasons one, two, and three, and um, this is what actually got me interested in getting the Rainbow High dolls because they are so colorful and whimsical, and they have so much life. So we're going to get started with Miss um, Sunny. She's into, uh, let me get to my notes here. Sorry, I don't have this memorized, but that's okay. Her name is Sunny Madison. Okay. Her color theme is yellow. Her three words of description is happy, cute, and quirky. She's a computer graphics designer. And um, all I need is cute. That's all she needs is cute. Okay. Um, she's an all-around character. Um, she came to Rainbow High ma uh, majoring in computer animation. She's a cute and adorable, fun-loving girl who combines her love and animation, her friends, and everything cute into an animated series she calls Hi Hi Kawaii, which I have seen um, when I looked at the Rainbow High series. That's actually... Um, in season one, um, it's either the first or second episode where after they come from class and she shares her new animation that she made with her friends and, um, she's also best friends with Violet and, um, but mm, there was a little bit going on in the beginning because Violet wasn't so nice to, um, to Sonny because Sonny wanted them to share rooms together and everything and Violet didn't want to do that because you know um, I'm going to talk about um, Violet's major and what she does and she just wanted to you know be on her own and meet new friends but instead of being honest with Sonny you know she just made Sonny believe that they were going to be sharing rooms together and that they were going to be doing everything together but that wasn't so far from the truth but it did backfire on uh, Violet later on. and um, But let's get into Sunny. As you can see, she's very, very cute. And um, this is her, one of her little school outfits. She loves her little, um, you know, her little um, high tennis shoes with the colors on them. She got her little matching knee-high socks and her cute little jacket. The clothes are made really, really well. I didn't take this off. I have the whole set. And um, I was thinking about, I wanted to like redo her hair because it's product in it. So this here is kind of hard. And I've seen people like um, take the dolls and redo their hair. And sometimes even reroot their hair. And um, that's pretty interesting. I actually would love to learn um, how to reroute um, their hair and as well as Barbie. But anyway. Um, she has on cute little earrings 
and um, she's just, you know, she's just dressed so cute, and she has the sun and the moon, and you can see the rainbow high on the sleeve, and um, the jacket is made really, really well. She's made really, really well, and, you know, she smiles a lot. She's happy, fun-loving, and she's positive in all situations. You know, she's the type of person, when you kind of down, you know, she's the kind of person you want to be around because she would kind of, like, keep you, like, pepped up all the time. And I know that the doll doesn't show up, but if, when you look at I would highly recommend looking at the Rainbow High series. You can look at it on YouTube. They sell seasons one, two, and three, and other seasons. And they also have the movie, which I myself am going to go and watch and, um, give you my um, review on that movie. Um, I definitely love the series. I love the director. The director of the fashion school, excuse me for smacking. <laughs> she kind of gives Anna Wintour vibes. If any of you know who Anna Wintour is, she's the editor of a Vogue magazine. So she gives those vibes, even though, you know, she's um, African American. That's how much I would tell about the director. And, um, you know, so um, Sunny does make new friends um, in the room that she's with. But they all do work together on various projects because they really, really need each other in making uh, projects together. And all of their skills that they actually have majored in are um, very useful in all of the major projects that they have to do in order to stay in the school and each project hinges on them being staying and being able to stay in school because if they miss one project you know it could get them kicked out so um but sunny she you know she's very resourceful even though she's whimsical kind of quirky and cute she's very very intelligent very well organized and um you know her her computer graphics is stellar. She worked really hard to get into Rainbow High, so it's really cute. So um, she also, she comes with her own stand. And uh, it says Rainbow High also. All of them have their own stands, and the stand's the same color as the dolls. And um, they even have the Rainbow High Junior dolls. I didn't even know that. Um, but I'm going to get a few of them. It's quite a few Rainbow High dolls, and I don't think I'm going to get all of them. Um, that would be a huge task, so we have to see what happens over time. So, um, we're going to put, put Miss Sunny Madison back on her little stand and, you know, let her continue to be sunny and happy. So... Yeah, there we go. And we're going to set her aside. And we're going to talk about her best friend. Um, let's see here. Let's go here. We're going to talk about Miss Violet. Her name is Miss Violet Willow. Her theme color is Violet. Um, she's a diva by nature and royalty by choice. Um, Ms. Violet Willow is a 2020 introduction. Um, she's an all around character. She is a student at Rainbow High that focuses in digital media. Everything needs a diva and um, Violet is born for the role. Um, she has her own um, life as a um, social media influencer called the Vi Life and she's always recording everything, sharing everything, giving a tea in all situations and posting about friends, fashion, reality, drama, you name it. And um, in addition to the Vi Life, um, she also managed to become um, a reporter for the Rainbow High School newspaper called uh, the scene and um, she had to do a project and once she did the project um, the person who published a magazine really liked her work so that's how she actually became the editor 
uh, I'm sorry, I became a reporter for the uh, school magazine. Um, she is um, Sonny Madison's best friend. They live near each other. They grew up together. Um, they pretty much, they did everything together. So, you know, when they got to Rainbow High, she kind of wanted to do her own thing a little bit, but I truly believe she should have been really, really honest uh, with Sunny that she wanted to meet new friends, um, that she was not um, going to, you know, lose the friendship that she had with Sunny, and uh, because she was very dishonest, it did hurt Sunny's feelings, and they did talk about it. Can't remember what episode, but it's still. Can't remember. Let me see. Uh, it's between season one and two, I think it is. But um, they had to work on a major project, and um, so Sunny she did some things with her roommates, and Violet, you know, Violet got jealous, and she thought that Sunny didn't want to be her friend anymore, you know. But when you kind of mistreat people, it comes back to bite you in the butt sometimes, you know. And she kind of realized that, and they patch things up, and they move forward so as you can see um indeed she's a she's you know quote unquote they call her a diva you know she likes her little earrings you know she got on her little fur coat which is super super cute and um um it has beautiful work and then she has like the little uh glitter payettes stuck onto the dress the dress is really cute i didn't really take their clothes off so um to see um and then you can see she has a cute little uh her cute little uh glitter socks with her little heels that are super super cute um she is fully articulated they're all fully articulated you know all their body parts and things can move and I'm still getting used to the dogs being articulated, as you can see, you know, her head. And then the beautiful, beautiful hair. You know, love, love, love this hair. You know, these are some of my absolute favorite colors. And um, so, but I still was thinking about that I want to, like, wash the product out of their, out of their hair. And um, I like the bang, but... You know, if I really, really knew how to reroute, that would probably be one of the things I would change is the bang. Um, so her hairline could be different. But other than that, she is super, super cute. Love her eyes. She got the peacock colors um, in her eyes. You know, the turquoise, green, blue, and the purple. I love their eyes. Makeup is super, super cute. She got eyes on glittery. Um, eyeshadow, real lashes, so super cute. Um, I also can uh, make jewelry for them as well, which I'm planning to do. And um, yeah, that's what's going on with Miss Violet Willow. She too comes with her own stand, and um, they, you know, she stands and. They all hang out with each other. They all, you know, in my studio, they hang out with Barbie. They all hang together. So, yeah. So, that's what's going on with that. And this is Miss Violet Willow. So, yeah. So, I'll be checking out to see what's going on in the Violet Life and give you some updates later on about what's going on with her in the Violet Life at Rainbow High. So, um, one of their other friends is Miss, Miss Ruby. Okay. Her name is Miss Ruby Anderson. Okay. She's indeed red. Let's take her off her stand. Okay. Her hair is super pretty. Look at that. It is so pretty and red. And I like how she has, like, the little cute, um bustier over top of the shirt and i like her jeans which she probably spray painted and did some design herself and then her little clear shoes super super cute and um i also love her makeup as well 
she too, they all have um, full eyelashes. Uh, she has beautiful eye color, and then she has beautiful, beautiful um, um, eyeshadow and makeup, and her eyes are pretty also. And Miss Ruby Anderson, her uh, theme color is red. Her three-word description is casual, trendy, trendy, and fire. Her focus is mixed media uh, and graphics design, okay? She also was introduced in 2020. She's an all-around character. Um, she um, majors in mixed media and graphic design. Um, she likes new styles. She's a trailblazer for new styles. She likes to create everything that she wears which I have seen, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, totally fiery. She absolutely has a thing for shoes. And um, she customizes everything that she does. She, you know, makes a statement. She plays around. She plays art pranks on her friends, you know. Um, and she just is an all-around fun girl. Now, um, she... Um, became a friend to Skylar. And this is in the first season. Can't remember exactly what episode it was. But she became a friend to Skylar because Skylar's boyfriend, which I'm going to uh, talk about Skylar tomorrow, um, in another video, not tomorrow. I'm so sorry about that. It'll be in another, uh, be in part two. Skylar's boyfriend, um, came up to um, Ruby in class and he started flirting with her. And so Ruby didn't know that that was Skylar's boyfriend. And so, you know, they was talking and kind of kicking it, you know, nothing serious or anything, just kind of playful. But he was very flirty and he knew, he knew that he was Skylar's boyfriend, you know, but he wanted to kind of keep it loose. They hadn't break, broken up or anything. But, you know, just, just wanted to keep the relationship kind of low-key. But his version of low-key was that he wanted to meet other girls and not date Skylar at all. And I think he should have been really honest about that. But anyway, um, moving forward, um, they went to the uh, school, you know, to the party that the uh, upperclassmen had put on for the freshmen and the new, um, the new students that came. And that's when everything just, the you know, just hit the fan. And Sonny saw, you know, uh, Ruby with Skylar's boyfriend. And she was like, uh-oh, <laughs> this is going to be some trouble. So she was trying to keep things a little, you know, diverted and everything so things wouldn't pop off. But uh, it didn't. It's, it's, it, it didn't work out too well. She still... Um, the trouble went down. So when Skylar went to introduce her boyfriend, you know, she asked Ruby, you know, what you doing with my boyfriend? Ruby said, boyfriend? She was like, looked at uh, Skylar's boyfriend. She was like, you didn't tell me you had a girlfriend. And then, you know, Skylar and her boyfriend, they had a conversation. And, you know, she was like, I know you wanted to keep things low key, but his version, like I said, of low key was he wanted to be able to date other people. So, you know, um, Skylar felt pretty stupid and Sunny, oh, I'm sorry, um, Ruby went behind her and they had a talk and she let it know. She was like, hey girl, you know, I will never do that again. I'm sorry that I didn't know you had a boyfriend. So she felt stupid. She was going to stay in the bathroom and didn't want to come out. So, uh, Ruby did her thing. She did her makeup. She changed her makeup for her. And she changed her makeup, you know, for Skylar. They talked, they hugged and everything. They ironed everything out. And they became really good friends after that. So, of course, you know, Violet with the Violet, she was recording everything. So, everybody wanted to know how everything turned out. So, you know, they did an update on the Violet. And they showed everything turned out good. Homeboy, you know, he... Walked out with his tail tucked between his legs because he was wrong. So, um, Miss Ruby is indeed a good person besides being a hell of a, you know, uh, artist, you know, 
making things really pretty and helping out others. She's pretty cool as a person. Again, I highly recommend that y'all looking at that you go and look at the Rainbow High uh, series and movie. So um, that's that. This is her style. She's pretty laid back. She can dress when she wants to. And um, you see that in the creativity in the different outfits and things that they have to create um, in the different school projects. And, you know, they change. They do change their clothes a little bit. You know, how some cartoon series where they have uh, the female characters, they don't change their clothes that much. But they do change their clothes some. So, but um, her hair is red. Red in the uh, series. She doesn't always wear her hat. You know, but she is always wearing red. So, that's pretty much um, what's going on with Miss Ruby. And um, I am going to get some of the Rainbow High clothes and other shoes and things so that um, I can do some change-ups, you know, change their looks and things like that. And you can see um, some of the new looks that I will create when I get new clothes for them on my Instagram channel, you know, all things Barbie and pretty. So um, this is all I have for you today. Um, in the next, uh, in part two, I will be talking about Jade, Poppy, and uh, Skylar. Those are the three. Next three I'm going to be talking about in um, part two. And then I'm going to tell you who I'm going to be talking about. And I'm going to share with you in part three. And I'm going to share with you the roles that they play in these uh, series and episodes as well. So, until next time, stay fierce and fabulous and sparkle like Barbie. <laughs>